Alright guys, welcome to the video today. So this video is going to be covering the Blade Dancer subclass. I did a different subclass breakdown for the Gunslinger, which I will link you on screen right now. Everyone really liked it and they wanted me to do one for the Blade Dancer, so I decided to do that as well. Personally, I believe the Blade Dancer is the best subclass, perhaps not the best super, but I do believe with the different weapons and secondaries you can use, it can become the best subclass in the whole entire game, and I'm going to show you why. So if we take a look at the grenade that I'm using, you're going to see that I'm using the arc bolt grenade. So I use this grenade because I do wear the lucky raspberry chest piece, which makes it so I spawn with grenade energy every single time I die. And these can actually chain up to four people when you throw it on the right spot. So basically hit one person, chain off the other. And if you shoot them one time in the body with the thorn, they will burn out. As you're seeing on the screen right now, I have a clip where I throw this arc bolt strategically on their heavy because I see on the radar that there's a lot of them. And I shoot them all in the body one time and get a quad feed with only four body shots that's how ridiculous this grenade can be when it's paired with the thorn For the next ability we have blink which is basically my movement ability I can give that quick arc bolt and that thorn shot down and then I can blink away to safety blink is basically just overall a really good movement ability when you're playing against good people to get that kill and get out of there as quick as possible maybe you're running around a corner and someone shoots you you can easily blink back it is pretty cheap in my opinion but it is what is most effective within the subclass Moving on to my next ability, it is the Razor's Edge for the Blade Dancer. Basically what this allows you to do is while you're Blade Dance, when you're playing against good people, what they're going to do is they're going to try to put a couple of thorn shots on you and then fell winters you for the kill, but if you do not want to advance and you think you're going to be outnumbered and team shot, what you can do is basically just send this little Razor's Edge upon the ground and kill them from a longer range. I find this to be most useful against good players than bad players, but when you do play against good people, it is definitely important to have this so you know you can turn a close range ability into a little Little bit of a more long range ability. Moving on to my blink strike ability, I've chosen backstab simply because you can kill people in one hit from behind and sometimes when someone is in blade dance you can shoot them two times with the thorn and then it will glitch and you can get the 180 backstab even from the front side. So this is mainly used when you're going against good players but so far if you're going against bad players and maybe you don't have enough time to shoot a fell winter shot, as you can see in this clip right here I use the backstab to my advantage and get him from behind so I do not have to both waste a fell winter shot and I can kill him without having to compensate for the lowest fire rate among shotguns in the game that lies within the fell winter's lie. Moving on to my next ability, I have quick draw, which means weapons ready immediately. So if I have my sniper out, I can aim down the sights quicker and switch my weapons quicker. I can also do the same with every other single type of weapon. So with, you know, weapons like thorn, when you throw it on an arc bolt, if you can switch even faster to thorn, that is always better. And then as far as, you know, sniping, overall this class uses the Felwinter's Lie, but if you are sniping, as you can see right here, it does make the aiming time a lot quicker than it would be if you did not have quick draw. Moving on to the last perk, we have the Hungering Blade. This basically allows you when you get a kill with your Arc Blade or your Blink Strike, so your melee when it is fully charged, it will immediately regen your health. So this is really useful for instances where you have the Arc Blade and you're about to go down. If you can get one kill, you can start that regen. This can be, you know, hindered a little bit by Thorn, but it's definitely manageable. It's also really useful, you know, maybe if you're in like a tight situation and someone comes at you in their one shot, you can get that melee, get that health regen, and then continue to take out the rest of the people. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video today if you did enjoy this video drop a like down below and subscribe so you do not miss a video in the future and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video peace